Single sex family, we are back here with entertainer Ashley. Why didn't I just say Ashley? Yeah, m- my stage name is Madison, but you know, everyone Madison? knows my government. Yeah, I like Ashley. Ashley Not Madison. Ashley. Ashley. Ashley Madison. Since Caucasian. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, Ashley Madison. Yeah, yeah. So the transitioning. Okay, so you didn't even have an agent? No. Oh my gosh. No. So that in itself was an eye opener. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know. You know, this is like my first time like really getting into like something like I did a little bit of acting before, but it wasn't like anything where it On was this like scale. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, I can tell you from the beginning I didn't think too much of it. I didn't know what I was getting myself into, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but these agents are very shysty. They will take advantage. Of course. Yeah. So you have to be watch out for that. What are some things that someone should watch out for? What are some red flags immediately? When this happens, you know, uh-uh, this agent is not walking that straight line. Okay. Um, they're going to tell you something a little bit degrading, like you don't have enough to be, your portfolio is not enough, mm-hmm. so you need to pay for these classes. They're going to figure out a way. You know, I just feel like... You can just tell, you know, off the energy. They right. want you to pay for all these classes and yeah. stuff, this, this, that, and the third, which is fine, but it's like, hold on. This is not even, like, the process, right? Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. Immediately, yeah, someone told me um, if they're asking for a lot of money up front, mm-hmm. then that's something to look, like, raise mm-hmm. an eyebrow and red flag. No, mm-hmm. flag mm-hmm. on the plate. Mm-hmm. Um, and then unnecessary, any unnecessary money that's coming out of your pockets. Because usually when an agent really wants you, they will do the extra exactly. mile. And because exactly. they know that they're going to be compensated yes. on the back end and anyway. They, yes, yeah. that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. Thirsty and greedy, a lot of them. Right. So when acting, now that you're in acting, did you take any acting classes? Yes, I did. Ah. Yes, I did. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Okay. I love improv. Actually, I think it's good for stripping, too. Mm-hmm. Um... That's what you guys naturally do anyway. Yeah. Improv, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Yeah. definitely. Um, That's why I like Hustler so much. You know, I wish it focused a little bit more on stripper lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when J-Lo said we're all strippers in the movie, I relate to that, you know, and I could feel that from the um, the shysty agency people, you know? Ah, yeah. So did you experience that while you were on set or was it afterwards when people saw your work and they were like, oh, yeah, I can. Oh, afterwards. Okay. Afterwards. Okay. But you, listen, with wisdom, you know, you build character, you have wisdom now, and you can see it a mile away. You live and you learn. That's right. That's that's right. So what can we expect from you in the future? Oh, definitely more casting, more entertaining, you know, more casting, more roles. How is the Miami life in comparison to New York life as far as entertainment is concerned? (laughs) I love Miami, but New York is my home, you know? Yeah. New York is New York. I kind of miss the strictness of New York. Really? Yeah. They're strict in what way? Um, okay, New York is definitely more strict mm-hmm. with the the rules. Like, with the lap dance prices, you know, they have, like, a set price. In Miami, it's kind of like you rent, like a lap dance room, a champagne room, whatever, and then you make up your own price for you, mm. which I feel like, I don't know. I would like just, you know, just for them to tell that, you know, just no no games, you know. But Miami, I think it's like, I don't know, it's kind of like a throw cash environment. Gotcha. And then New York is kind of like you sit down and catch a vibe. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah. So it makes the vibe, I guess, essentially mm-hmm. different as well. Mm-hmm. So does that mean that you end up making more in Miami? Mm. There's possibilities to make more than if, oh, but then the house end up. Yeah. Ah, There's so much taxation. That's the thing. You can make a lot of money off of strippers. But um, I don't know. New York is good. Miami is good. I love Miami, too. I think that if you're in the right area and you have the right hustle, you're going to make money no matter what. So you know what I mean? Got you. Ashley, thank you for joining us. Where can we contact you for more information? My Instagram is omadison. That's O-H, Madison, M-A-D-I-S-O-N. N, that's two N's, O Madison with two N's. I like that. O, Ashley Madison. O Madison. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. You are definitely fam. Thank you for giving us a different perspective Thank on you. the lifestyle. No problem. And we wish you much, much love and success as far as your endeavors in acting is concerned. Six percent, we'll be back to close the show.